AVC have been producing the Top Gun since 2007. It's not often that you find yourself in a room with three different iterations at the same time. Here we have the Top Gun Pilot's Watch Chronograph, the Pilot's Watch Double Chronograph Top Gun Ceritanium, and finally the Pilot's Watch Double Chronograph Top Gun Ceramic. David, we have this from 2007. Can you just talk to us a little bit about why it was designed as it was? 2007, like you said, it was the start of the Top Gun watch family at IWC. On the side, you can see the Top Gun logo and also some slight little features. We like the blame on the second hand, but it stays from the design perspective, that typical pilot's watch as we know. And where did the relationship with Top Gun come from? We are the only company licensed to have the name Top Gun on our watches. And I mean, the story is great, you know. If you have a watch on your wrist, you know, flying over the skies in 40, 50,000 feet, supersonic speed, it should be really, really reliable. So I think to characterize this kind of typical pilot tool watch, I would say Top Gun is the perfect fit. Can we just talk about the Doppel chronograph? That was a big piece of advancement from a mechanical perspective, and it was Richard Habring that developed that. In the late 1980s, there was on the market a double chronograph with an automatic movement missing, and so there was kind of a challenge who would be the first launching that, and so we made a really, really a lot of effort to make this happen, so the second-hand module was developed and then immediately placed into action 1992 with a standard steam double chrono, and since that period, it became very, very typical IWC. And jumping forwards a little bit to 2019 when we saw the development of the serotanium case material, can you just talk to us a little bit about the benefits of that material from a technical perspective? It combines the good things from ceramics but also titanium and it gives a new generation of material innovation in IWC and we were very famous for that. And when we look at this dial it's almost got a phantom-esque finish, quite subtle, as well as the red inlay on the doppel pusher. Is this somewhat of a challenge to the original idea of the legibility being the focus? I think it was, let's try a new way in design um, with this character of the black dial because as Said, I mean, first time serotanium, so it was really something special. The other reference from 2019, is this the same caliber within, or is this a new reference? This was completely new, because here we used for the first time the new introduced 69,000 chronograph movement caliber from IWC. So we go back to our tradition of making precise movements. And looking at the dial, here you have the classical approach of a pilot's watch. But still, if you look closer and if you compare it with the 2000 Zeppel double chrono, it is a typical Top Gun. And there you go guys, a flight through the Top Gun collection at the speed of sound.